if you have to multiply it out, 13 times 2, that's 26. I think that's about it, because if I do 13 times 3, and 30 is 39, that's way too big. So it's going to be 2 with already 26. And I'm going to subtract that out. Regroup my 3, that becomes a 2. So this is a 6. 12 minus 6 is 6. Bring this up, 65. So I'm going to look here. I have three numbers that have a 2 in the tens place. So I know it can't be D. So which one of these 13 times, I'm going to cover that up because I already have my 2 and my 10. 13 times 8, well, that's not going to work. 8 times 3 is 24. Regroup my 2. 8 times 1 is 8 plus 2, that's 104. So that doesn't work. All right, well, I know it can't be 1. 1 times 13 is 13, so that won't work. I'm trying to get to 65. So let's do 13 times 5. 5 times 3 is 15. Regroup my 1. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 1 is 6. There you go. So it's going to be 5. It makes it 65, and it's 0. So the answer is 25. All right, now we have two more problems to go. Getting kind of, it's getting dark outside. Yikes. All right, Lily was paid $308 for 14 weeks of work. Wow. Now, if she was paid the same amount each week, how much does she earn after two weeks? Well, multi-step problem. So first things first, this is how much she got paid. And it was only for 14 weeks. So what's that hidden question? How much does she get paid each week? All right, so 14 I'm going to make my box. I have three digits here, three columns. I have three, zero, and eight. My multiplication sign, we said that three has to be equal to or greater than my um, divisor, and it's not, so it's a zero. Zero times 14 is zero. Bring down my three. So I'm going to bring my three over. Now, 14. How many times can 14 go into 30? Well, I know that 14 times 2 equals 28. So that's as close as I can get with 2 remaining. Okay, and again, 14 can go into 28 two times with 20. So that's 28 and 0 left over. So she gets paid $22 each week. So... If she got paid the same amount each week, how much does she earn after two weeks? So this would be the af two weeks after. Two times two equals four. Two times two equals four. And the answer is D. She got paid $44. All right. Any questions, come see me in the morning. Let's look at number 12. Annie drove 910 miles during a two-week period. 910 miles. Two-week period. If he drove the same number of miles each day, how many miles had he driven after five days? Okay, so let's look at what we have. I have to two weeks. How many days are in two weeks? Fourteen days. I make my rectangle box. I need to have three columns because I have three numbers. Nine, one, zero. My multiplication sign, 14 cannot go into 9 because it has to be equal to or greater than my divisor. So it's 0. 0 times 14 equals 0. Subtract so that out. It leaves me with 9. Regroup my 9. So now how many groups of 14 can go into 9 or 91? So I'm going to start with my 5s. 14 times 5. 5 times 4 is 20. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 2 is 70. Can I keep going? Okay. So 14 times 6. 6 times 4 is 24. 6 times 1 equals 6, plus 2 is 8. I think that's as close as we can get without going over. Let's check that out. It's 28. 7 plus 2 is 9. So yes, this is as close as we can get. So it's going to be six groups of 14 that equals 84 and subtract that out. 
So 11 minus 4, so that's 8, I mean, uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, so that makes it 70. Bring this up here. How many groups of 14 can go into 70? Well, let's take a look. 14 times 5. Oops, we already did that. I said 5 groups of 14 equals 70, and it's 0. So now we have 65. So he travels the same number of, he's traveled 65 miles a day. So the question is, is how many miles had he traveled after five days? Now remember, this was the hidden question. He travels 65 miles each day. How many does he travel after five? Well, let's figure that out. 65 times five. Five times five. Oops, sorry about that. Equals 25. Regroup my two. Five times six is 30. 31, 32. So the answer is D, 325 miles. So he travels 325 miles after five days. Capitalize my heat. All right, that's it for tonight. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you tomorrow. Please be prepared. Talk to you later. Bye.